Mushrooms can communicate. Their electrical signals they resemble human speech. Mushrooms buried in forest litter or growing from trees they may seem like quiet and independent organisms, but new research they suggest they can communicate with each other. Previous work has already indicated that fungi conduct electrical impulses through long, filamentous structures called hyphae, like nerve cells, transmit information in humans. Mathematical analysis of these signals identified patterns that they have striking structural similarities to human speech. Scientists have identified activity patterns in fungi electrical activity similar to nervous activity. Moreover, these patterns seem to be comparable to similar structures found in human speech. Hence there is also a concept that these organisms can communicate with each other. Electrical activity in the mushroom world has been known for years, however, this is the first analysis that treats it as a form of language. Its newbie approach may reveal things we haven't known before. Assuming that these impulses can affect cellular activities in the fungal network, a discovery may shed new light on the communication of these organisms. In research that was published in the journal Royal Society Open Science, computer scientist Andrew Adamatsky from the University of the West of England in the UK was able to identify up to 50 different words or groups of spikes in electrical activity produced by fungi. Assuming there are spikes in electrical activity used by mushrooms to communicate and process information in mycelial networks, we group these jumps into Slovak and present the analysis linguistic and analysis of the information complexity of the electrical activity of fungi, he theorizes Adamatsky in his new work. The scientist looked at the electrical activity of four types of fungi, looking for patterns in spectral fungi, Omphalidus nidiformis, also called ghost fungus, from English ghost fungus, Enoki mushrooms, Flammulin volutipes, Common cleft, Schizophyllum commune, and a battle match, Cordyceps militaris. Electrical activity was detected and recorded using microelectrodes placed in places inhabited by fungi, and jumps the activities were then organized into groups. Each type of mushroom was different in terms of duration and length of electric jumps, with some of these lasted up to 21 hours. Common clefts have been shown to arrange most complex sentences. We don't know if there's any connection between the patterns, activities in fungi and human speech, says Adamatsky in an interview with The Guardian. Possibly not. On the other hand, there are many similarities in processing information in living organisms. I was just curious about it comparisons adds the researcher. Although comparisons with human speech attract attention, it is research they give no clues about what mushrooms can talk about talk or why these organisms may need to maintain contact in a larger area. Considering that the life of mushrooms is rather simple, there aren't many possibilities that come to mind. It is possible that the signals are the way mushrooms warn about threats to their survival or on example about changes in available resources. Ecologist Dan Beber from the University of Exeter in Weaca, Britain, which has not participated in the research, says there is still a long way to go ahead of us before we know for sure if mushrooms are talking to each other. Although interesting, the interpretation of this discovery as mushroom language seems a bit too enthusiastic and would require much more research and testing. For now we won't see mushroom language in Google Translate, adds Beber.